The Sacred Music app by The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has lots of great uplifting music that you can listen to and find sheet music as well. For Family Home Evening, our family frequently mirrors the app onto our TV so that we can all follow along with the words as we sing together. Let me show you some of the features available within the app. As you look here in the library, you'll see there are a lot of collections available to you for accessing great gospel music. And you can go ahead and scroll through and check all of those out. I'm not going to go over all of those, but you'll know right here we have hymns and children's songbook are available, plus lots of other featured collections. One thing to note first up here at the top is the search feature. You can click search right there to find it if it doesn't show up or it's right here. And you can go ahead and search for a song. So for example, say I want to find the song, The Miracle. I can go ahead and do a search for that and you'll see these results that show up. You can go ahead and click on the song and you'll be able to see the song here in the app. Then if we go back here, you can go back and see the other search results as well. I'm gonna click cancel and now we're back here in the library. Here within the library, I want to jump down here and go into music for singing time. And one thing to note are the images that are to the left of the songs. They can help you understand a little bit more about the songs. For example, this one has a picture of the children's songbook, meaning that this song, Book of Mormon Stories, is from the children's songbook. Versus this one, the iron rod, has a picture of the hymn book. While this one, Keep the Commandments, has a totally different picture. And that's because this one has a music video available. I'm going to go ahead and click on Keep the Commandments. Here in Keep the Commandments, you can see this is a PDF file of Keep the Commandments. I can go ahead and pinch to zoom and make it smaller or bigger and move it around with my finger. In addition, I can come up here where it says Keep the Commandments sheet music and click on this down arrow and it will give me other options of ways to view the music. So I can click right here on sheet music resizable and you can see that it's resized the sheet music to the font size that I've selected. I can change that by coming up here and clicking on the A and then I can decrease the font size and I can increase it and I can change the font style as well. Now you can see it's resized the music. I can come back up here and I can click on the down arrow again and then I can come to lyrics and video. Under lyrics and video, you can see that Keep the Commandments has a music video with it that you can go ahead and watch. One other thing I want to show you here on this page is you can click the play button and you can listen to the music. In addition, you can choose if you click over here on this green box, you can choose if you want to listen to children singing or if you just want the accompaniment to play when you play the music. Over here on these three dots, you can click on those and play the music. You can choose if you want to play with children singing or with the accompaniment. Or you could choose if you want this song to play next or last, or you can even add it to a playlist. So I'll click on that right there and I'll choose, I want the children's singing version to be added to the playlist. And then I'll choose my favorites playlist that I created. And now that song's been added to my playlist. Back up here at the three dots, a couple other things to note. You can download the music, choose the version you want there as well. You can share or print the music and you can change the language on the music as well. Okay, so that's the library portion and actually looking at music. You can also come down here to topics and find music based on a topic. So for example, maybe you wanted songs about baptism. You can come here and click on baptism and it will show you all the songs here in the app about baptism. And you can go ahead and you can filter up here by audio type and by features as well. Down here at the bottom, you also have a playlists option. And you can see I have already created a favorites playlist. You can go ahead and create your own playlist by clicking on add playlist and give it a name and then just save it. Here in my favorites playlist, I can filter up here at the top by audio type, features, topics, any of those I can go ahead and filter by. In addition, I can play hit play here and it'll play through all the songs on my favorites playlist, or I can shuffle the music in my playlist. And on each of these, you can go ahead and choose maybe what order you want to play them in, and if you want to add it to another playlist, or if you want to remove it from this playlist. 
One last thing to show you is downloads. Here in the downloads, you can go ahead and play all the songs in your downloads. You can shuffle them, you can filter them, you can search within your downloads. In addition, if you just slide over and hit delete, then it will delete that song off your phone and you'll no longer have it stored on your phone. Such a great app. I hope you find it useful in your home and at church. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below.